I'm Deborah Lee Baldwin, author of three best-selling books about succulents and using them in gardens, containers, and landscapes. I have a wide, shallow stoneware bowl that I have filled uh, almost to the rim with potting soil. And I am going to pot up a mounded arrangement using primarily sempervivums. These are cold climate succulents. Little surprises tucked in there. They give the viewer a sense of what the heck is that? So they lean in for a, a closer view. Now, why do a mounded arrangement? Well, because you want to have a look of lush abundance. Now, do you see how all those root balls are showing? That's what I want. That all of these are along the edge of the pot. You see that? That's the first layer. You can almost think of it like a cake, okay? We need more potting soil. And the next layer is going to sit on that. So we're going to use fewer plants because we have less of a circumference to cover. So the next layer, you're going to recess the plants somewhat. And again, they're just sitting on top of the soil. Fill in gaps, sedums. Oops, this is... <laughs> Do you know, I'm actually going to switch the sedum with that because that is going to trail. Might as well trail over the edge of the pot. So now you're probably worried, uh-oh, if they're tumbling out, how secure are they going to be in terms of being top heavy? Well, they'll actually root into that soil. Yeah, I should have put more sedums down there. I wasn't thinking, you know, I honestly thought I would have too many um, plants and I was going to do the whole thing with sempervivums. But as it turns out, I'm gonna need all the sedums that came with my order too. Okay, so if you're worried about things tumbling out, you can always add soil, press down, and that'll help anchor them. But remember, they're being supported because they're, they're recessed. Okay, so now I've got more sedum on the first layer, which leaves me with um, more sempervivums to fill in the top layer. See this gap right here? Yeah, let's, let's put that one with the baby in the gap. Okay, I'm happy with that. Looking good. You know, it just looks like magic, but it's not. It's really simple. And the top of the cake. I should call this a cake arrangement, huh? A nice potting area, planting area for the last layer. That's something that you need to keep in mind. The bottom layer that goes around the, the uh, rim of the pot, they're almost horizontal and slightly angled upward. But by the time you get to the top layer, the plants are almost straight up. Okay, I need a little bit more soil for that. Can you believe I've used all of these? I started out with, I think it was 26, two dozen anyway. And, uh, but you're covering a lot more area. It's a great way to display plants. And we have this little guy. I think he's gonna tuck in nicely there. You know, I had the idea of um, maybe filling a gap with a doorknob. Uh, we could even put that right at the top. Oh, I like that. It looks like a cake. I knew that they looked like succulents and I thought, okay, cool. I'm gonna find a place to use them. A spoon and you could use a funnel. I'm not worried about getting soil on the plants. I'm gonna uh, rinse this off pretty well. More of my dainty little sedums. And now that we're getting to uh, the fine tuning, we can actually tear this root ball open. See, much easier to tuck in. And you can even uh, tear, the, tear the plants apart by the roots and put part of a plant in one area and use the, the rest of it in another gap. There we have our mounded sempervivum and sedum arrangement with plants from Mountain Crest Gardens and doorknobs from Cost Plus Imports. See me do this in another one of my videos where I plant a bird bath. 
and I will give you a list of the plant names in the video description and also on my website, DebraLeeBaldwin.com.